Okay, guys. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the positive comments. Uh, as I said, I usually don't do these ex explanation videos on how to play, or not how to play, my thoughts on jazz, but um, my thoughts on jazz are very, very much borrowed from classical harmony. I think uh, those of you who know me know um, I rip off. I use the term rip off because I do. I rip off and lift and steal, steal, steal from people who I love, especially people like Chopin, <laughs> Uh, Beethoven I love a lot in um, improvisation wise from Bach um, and sometimes my complex harmonies are bored from Debussy, Ravel and Olivier Messiaen. Uh, those are the ones that come to mind of, of course there's others but those are the pri you know primarily those are the ones I really uh, those are the composers I really adore for in uh, injecting into my music. Anyways, that all that being said, uh, I was thinking of a song to show in terms of harmony, how I look at it. Um, you'll notice that if you take it, most songs, you can just break them up into cycles of fifths, like mo because movement is in cycles of fifths. Uh, for example, if you go, you know, if you go one, four, five, uh, the suspension, anytime you hit four, and my idea is four is a suspension, is a suspension on the five, um, function. Function five is dominant, of course, and if you add four, it's predominant. Um, so I just look at it as being one and five, you're moving in fifths. And if you, even if you go one and four, if you think of it as a like a four being a like a temporary one chord, then you've gone from the fifth from a from let's say you're in the key of C, you'd be like one. If you go to a new tonic like F, well then that original C has now turned into a dominant, so that's the fifth of F. But anyways, all that nonsense aside, uh, I'm gonna play. I was thinking about um, on Green Dolphin Street, and then a really nice dark key like d flat uh so let's see i'll just try to go through this a bit. This chord, a minor seven flat five, which in this case it's going to be C flat. So C flat minor seven flat five to E seven flat nine. A got A minor seven flat five, D seven flat nine, and then I'm going to split the octave coming down, doing like a Woody and U sort of thing. Now uh, all minor seven flat five going to dominant chords of the flat nine. So let me just, I just talked a lot there, you probably screwed up the whole thing by talking over the whole progression, how it would sound like, it would sound like this.
You know, that was messy as hell. But anyways, uh, what I did there, I was went. That was pure impulse. The impulse of doing something on the sp spot. I can guarantee if I did that in real time with my band, it would have been great. Now, I'm trying to reanalyze and go back to I have no idea what the hell I did. It was a great chord in the moment, and I can't capture it. And this just goes back to my whole theory of slowing things down and trying to explain it. It's not the same. And like you heard how many mistakes I made doing that slowly. It was sounding like crap. But that being said it's a good exercise for myself because i never do things this way i'm always if i'm doing things that slowly it's only uh maybe after i've lifted it in real time i might for myself slow down and try out to see what's really happening and analyzing it but um as i said i never explain things into um like this so it's good it's good exercise anyways i hope that helped and uh i'll do uh we'll go on to part four next time okay take care